about the split cage method of introducing gerbils to each other. As you can see, we have one 10 gallon aquarium with a mesh lid here, and we have a mesh divider in between them. And each side has a water bottle, and both sides have food. Um, the one on the left here, the food is just scattered in the bedding, and the other one has a dish. We take off the lid, you can see it here. There they are, and with the mesh divider here, you can see that we just cut um, some mesh here. I think we got this at a like a home goods store, like Menards or Home Depot or something. I'm not sure what the count is, but pretty small. So we just got this big roll of mesh for know, five or ten bucks, and we use wire cutters to cut it. And as you can see, Houdini just climbed up to the top. So basically we measured the tank and we cut the wire to be about a half an inch or an inch bigger on each side so that we could fold it over. You can't see it so much down here, so the guy. but we folded it over on the bottom of the tank and taped it down and then we tape it down on both sides and we tape it all the way across to keep the sharp edges of the wire from hurting the gerbils. So we have it taped on both sides here and on the bottom. The top we also have it folded over so that it fits right with the the topper. So the topper should be on it. You can put the topper on there. And if it is a little bit bumpy, we'll put a book or something here to hold it there so that the gerbils don't crawl over it. So it's important to make sure you have a water bottle on each side and food on each side and cardboard. We took the cardboard out for these guys and they shredded it. So the things that you want to watch for is um, when they are curious with each other on both sides of the cage. These guys have been in the split cage method for a number of days now. Usually you do it between five, seven days, depending on the age of the gerbils. Houdini here is about five or six weeks old. Yep. And Pistol on the other side is about eight weeks old. Yep. So the younger the gerbils, the better for introducing them. And males are easier because they are nurturing by nature. They're not very territorial. But as you can see, when they're up against the mesh here, they're not aggressive towards each other. Pistol's hiding on a cardboard. They're not aggressive towards each other. And like there you can see that they're a bit curious about each other. When they sleep, if they sleep next to the mesh, so they're next to each other just with a mesh in between, that's a good sign that they're ready to be together. And we will show you how you shift them because every couple of hours, you need to switch sides so that they get used to the scent of each other's bedding or each other, each, get used to each other's scent, actually. So you don't have to wake up at night to switch them. Just while you're awake, every couple of hours, switch them between sides. And Noah here will show us how we're going to switch them. There you so go. if you hand tame your dribbles, they will usually come to your hand and at least not be afraid of your hand. Yeah, they're probably nervous because of the... Yeah, they might be a little nervous. So there's Houdini. So you can have one person do it, and see he's just holding them with both hand and can reach in. Or you can have somebody else hold them while you get the other one. So I'll take Houdini, you little guy. And Noah goes in to get Pistol. And if they don't want to come, sometimes you have to have two hands and you can scoop them with some of their bedding if you need to. Or if they climb into a box or a dish, you can just lift the box or the dish. Pistol's kind of tricky, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you don't want to like grab at them because that will make them scared. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> there we go. And there's Pistol. I want to just put him on that side. And we'll put Houdini over here on this side. So when you put him in, you just put your hand down there and let him crawl in. So they will most likely just scurry around and sniff the bedding on their sides. They've been back and forth quite a lot, so their their scent is on both sides. So that is how you do the split cage method.